Damn, those are some spicy chicken wings. Hi everyone, Billy's Games here. Today, I'll be playing Papa's Wingeria. Now, I've never really been a big fan of chicken wings, mainly because most of the chicken wings is just bones and cartilage. However, I do like chicken strips, because that's just chicken. So without further ado, let's play the game. You know, we gotta be Chuck. Let's see what's Chuck's lucky day. <coughs> okay. Of course, he wins. A trip to Starlight City. Why is he so lucky? I see small face James on that bus. Small face James. Okay. He gets to spin. Okay, he won. Lucky him. And, let me guess, he gets to work at Papa's Wingeria. Yes. Obviously. Nice. Since when do you go to a restaurant and say, I would like four chicken wings? Doesn't it come in like, a bucket or in a box? It's always the same number of chicken wings, why? That's so dumb. And also, two dips. So you're basically using a dip per two chicken wings. How much dip are you putting on your chicken wings? Like, damn. Okay, he want, she wants barbecue chicken wings. Okay. Why would you ever do that? Okay, good. Well, how is that too early? What? How, what is that going to do to the chicken wings? Why is that too early? I mean, do they even care? So, we're putting the chicken wings on a plate. That's kind of dumb. I mean, usually when you go to like KFC or something, your chicken wings are in a, like a bucket, right? Or a box, so... So what's the problem here? And then, two dips. Now, like I always say, this should be perfect, but since when I was doing the sauce station it wasn't perfect, probably means that Clover is going to give me not a perfect score. Another thing that I didn't understand is, how did I get 88% on waiting? That is ridiculous. Oh no, look who it is. So first, Hank, you're going to order some donuts at Papa's Donateria, and now you're over here getting chicken wings. Like, this man, you're supposed to be a police officer, not going to restaurants. This man wants celery with his chicken wings. Who puts celery with their chicken wings? That is the freaking dumbest thing you could ever do. Why? Why would you do? Like, I'm no expert in chicken wings, but I've never seen anyone eating chicken wings with celery. Are you using the celery with the ranch? Is, is that what's happening? I bet that is. Hank, if this is not perfect, then... Really? 90% of the sauce station, just because I did one too early. That is ridiculous. Now, who do we have here? It's Small Face James. You know why? Because his face is very small. Look how close his mouth is to his eyes. That's just really weird. Tim, are you supposed to pronounce your name like Timumu? Is that how? Because why do you have two M's in your name? Also, you looked really different in Papa's Pizzeria. You didn't have that bushy hair and, and those glasses. Mmm, 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 delicious. Let's see what Small Face James thinks about this. I'm surprised you even have a tongue. Your face is too small to have a tongue. Oh, f three chicken wings. 
Why are so many of these games so specific? That just doesn't make any sense. Let's give this person, um, some garlic with nose hair sauce. Nice. This time I get it all good, wow. I do the order wrong, but I do freaking everything good. Here you go. Have one chicken wing and four ranches. Delicious. I know it's on Timamo. I made Alan a salad. Now, with all the celery and baby carrots, he will need some ranch to dip it in. So here you go. Enjoy your salad, Alan. Alan clearly doesn't know how to be healthy. And one ranch. Here you go. Okay, Boomer. See, her name is Boomer. That's why I said okay, Boomer. She I'm really funny. Seriously, though, why is her name Boomer? What kind of a name is that? Damn, Boomer's coming into my restaurant and ruining everything. You know, I just hate that so much. Alan, did you enjoy your salad? I hope you did, because I'm going to make you another one. And some ranch to dip your stuff in. Let's go. Alan, mm, 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 you better love this. Again, Alan does not know what being healthy means. Now, Tim, or Timum, why do you have two M's in your name? I keep, I keep questioning that, but seriously, why do you have two M's in your name? And you, Clover, didn't give us a perfect score last time. So I am definitely not giving you a perfect order this time. In fact, I'm giving you something that's way, way opposite of a perfect order. Damn, Quinn, you're early in this game. But Quinn is always going to be a, a mean, angry person. And she wants three chicken wings and three ranches. And nine carrots. What are you doing, Quinn? I mean, come on, really? Okay, I think that's enough. Mmm, this looks so delicious. You don't even need a dip. You already have enough sauce to dip your chicken wing in. Here you go, Timuma. Honestly, the plate kind of looks like a cake. Yeah, I don't know. It just kind of looks like a cake. Mmm, this is the perfect meal. Clover, you better like this. You suck, Clover. You know, we'll give Quinn a cup of ranch. Here you go. Yes, eat a cup of ranch. Delicious, isn't it? I know, right? It's delicious. Hey, Alberto is here. Alberto is in every freaking game that I play. He wants... I don't know. I, I call that palm tree sauce. Because honestly, it looks, it's a freaking palm tree. So... I don't know. Now, we're going to give Alberto one chicken wing. But, we're going to make the sauce value 12. Like that. Awesome. Alberto got a bunch of sauce all over his mouth. Now, Mandy... Weren't you the one who didn't give me a perfect score in Papa's Freezeria? I, I need to take revenge on you. It looks like some animal was walking on your plate. Here you go, Mandy. Oh, she ate nothing. Did you see that? She literally had nothing in her hand. And she still ate it. Mandy, you must be really hungry to eat air. Oh my god. I can tell Zolo isn't playing around. All he wants is just five chicken wings and a ranch. Let's give Zolo salmonella. That sounds very nice to do. Let's also give him the wrong sauce in the wrong amount. Nice. Let's do everything too early. I know, delicious. Um, and let's do a bunch of this. Mm. 
nice. Screw you, Zolo. And why are your why are your eyes different sizes? I why? You look uglier than Quinn. A hundred times more uglier than Quinn. Great, we unlocked Greg the Tomato Boy. Now thank God there's no tomatoes in this game, so Greg will order a bunch of tomatoes this time. Clover, this should be wait no not Clover, Greg. Yes, Greg should this should be the perfect order. I'm not gonna give a perfect order to to, to Clover. Because Clover does not respect my wingeria. Well, these chicken wings are cooked. They look like coal. Well, might as well give them some hot sauce because, you know, isn't coal usually hot? So, you know. Ooh, Johnny the Lumberjack. He looks like a lumberjack. I mean, he is. Come on, don't tell me that's not a lumberjack. Like, for real. Mmm, this is quality food. Isn't it, Clover? This is a work of art. Mindy, you should really appreciate my art. Screw you, Mindy. Here you go, have one piece of celery and four ranches to dip it in, Mandy. That's what you get for not giving me a perfect score in Papa's Freezeria. I can't believe all that Johnny wants is just three chicken wings and one ranch. This art is so nice to look at. Ooh, Johnny almost forgot your ranch. Here you go. Now this should be with a perfect order. Well, you you only you said you only wanted one ranch. You wanted more ranches. You could you should have said. Looks like Hank came to order more chicken wings. Looks like Hank is getting a, is getting a piece of celery. Go arrest somebody. Utah, this has to be perfect. Stop. Just just stop, Utah. Now we have a mad scientist ordering chicken wings from her wingeria. All he wants is three barbecue chicken wings. That is literally all he wants. And stop smiling like that. Again, quality service. Alberto. I was about to say you're gonna like this, but looks like you don't like it. I stacked all 12 chicken wings together. On top of each other. Mindy, why don't you appreciate my chicken wing stacking skills? Because I know you have a lot of skills, you know, like taco making skills and burger making skills, but people should really appreciate them too. Okay, this is by far the best art I have made in this game. Let's see if Professor Fitz thinks the same about it. Professor Fitz, wow. You know, you're pretty dumb for a professor. You are pretty dumb for a professor, indeed. That'll be it for Papa's Wingeria. If you want to see more Papa's games, or another game, you should like and subscribe, and comment down below which game you want me to play. See you in another game, and bye!